I'd thought about, you know, having to carry him down a church in a coffin. That's, that's the reality. And that's something that no parent should ever have to do. He started having headaches and sickness, and we just kept saying, this just isn't the Charlie that we know. <laughs> and then he was becoming more and more lethargic. And eventually, he had a scan, and that's where we got the diagnosis. We asked the question, how long, you know, and they said a few months, maybe six months. That's definitely grown. We're looking at this bit, and it's just digging into the brainstem again. So that makes it slightly more difficult, but it also emphasises that we can't mess around, you know, we just can't, we're doing it whatever happens tomorrow. Keep lifting. Yeah. Keep smelling. Can you smell? What is it? Can, smell can you smell vanilla? vanilla? We love you, mate. Love you, Charlie. All the way through this, you have to live day by day. Because if you deal with what's going in your head, you wouldn't get through it. You know, we're both hurting, but we can't show that here for Charlie, because he just needs to see Mummy and Daddy. Every tumour is different. I'm coming probably close to having operated on about a thousand brain tumours. It is one of the much more difficult ones. Your brain stem makes you breathe, it manages your heart rate, it channels all the nerves that work your face, that make you swallow, and all of these things are at risk when you're operating on the brain. There's a nice bit of tumour there for you. This is the big moment when you're always hoping that you don't have to do any more and you've done what you want to do. There's something quite suspicious. Let's keep digging around there. That's the right place. There it is. Motherfuck. Excuse me. There's no doubt that second look was the difference between a clean scan and a disappointing small residual. Hi, hi, how are you? You all right? How are you? Good, yeah, yeah. How was it? Good, brilliant, brilliant. Really went well. I'll show you the scans. So I managed to just sneak around that corner and there it was, and it came out. I think he's got a complete re resection and I don't, and I've seen nothing either intra-op or on the scans that would make me think he won't get back quickly to where he wants. Not yeah. to say, mate. Not at all. My, my pleasure. Miracle. <laughs> He looks like he's got it all well. Yeah. Oh, he's awake. Charlie! Charlie! Are you OK? Are you OK? He said very clearly twice, I want my mummy and my daddy. Oh! It's a miracle, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How do you thank someone for saving your son's life? Charlie's been improving daily. His strength's coming back, his neurological skills, like his hand-eye coordination's getting better. Where he was to where he is now, it's like a totally different boy. He'll make his own future, and I know he'll have a bright one because of his sheer determination. Just hope that he's just happy. You know, he won't ever know any different. Harry, you going? <laughs> <laughs>